So we've assumed that intrinsic regulation of GFR is not sufficient. So the kidney is calling in the central nervous system um, and endocrine systems to control GFR via extrinsic, so central control. So our stimulus is si still a drop in systemic blood pressure, and that's going to do a couple of things in addition to this local, the local regulation. One is baroreceptors. So baroreceptors detect this at the aortic arch and carotid artery, and they are going to decrease in their firing. This is going to trigger the sympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is going to do various things, including vasoconstriction of all the systemic arterioles. What does this do? This acts to increase blood pressure. This piece over here is a nervous system response, right? Add that here, nervous system. That probably tells us we're gonna have endocrine system over here, a hormonal response. And I'll just give you a teaser, even though we're, we're about to do it. Brass. Okay. Renin, angiotensin, aldosterone. You don't know, however, how this gets triggered. We haven't, we actually didn't um, talk about this. We knew renin release occurred, right? So um, renin release, we've got to have that. Renin is going to be released from our granular cells which are in that afferent arterial that goes to the kidney, to the glomerulus. These granular cells can be triggered directly by low blood pressure. They detect blood pressure because they're in that afferent arterial. They also can be triggered by the sympathetic nervous system. Okay, renin is going to activate angiotensin. So angiotensin II will be formed. That's gonna have various effects um, that you should be able to list. There's gonna be four responses. I'll show you in the next slide that all are going to act to increase blood pressure. One is through vasoconstriction. All right. The one other thing, since I have two things listed here, the stimuli for those granular cells, one is they have um, stretch receptors I told you about before. They can be stimulated by the sympathetic nervous system. They also can be stimulated by ATP. What releases that are macula densa cells. So intrinsic regulation, that intrinsic response can also trigger this long-term response. Um, and this long-term response takes longer than. Okay, angiotensin. Let's remind ourselves what that does with a picture that I did not draw. Isn't it nice? Um, so this is a response, a long-term blood pressure response. How do we know that? Because we're altering blood volume, right? And we saw this response with blood pressure regulation in our blood vessel and pressure chapter. So nothing new here besides um, even from chapter, whatever it was, besides now we know the granular cells are what's releasing renin um, to produce ultimately angiotensin two. ACE from the lungs is also involved in that. Remember we talked about the, what ACE inhibitors would do to blood pressure. So to remind you, the results of angiotensin II, which is a learning outcome from your previous unit that you should still know, um, 
One, ADH release. ADH is gonna cause water reabsorption by the kidneys. We'll see where this happens. It's gonna be the collecting duct. So we'll, we'll look at that more closely. We have the hypothalamus triggering thirst via angiotensin um, stimulation. We have vasoconstriction. This one is short term. It happens quickest because it's not a change in blood volume. And we've got aldosterone that's also secreted, um, secreted by the adrenal cortex on top of the kidney. Aldosterone is a hormone that's going to result in sodium and water retention. This is going to be in our, um, primarily the distal convoluted tubule. So we'll, we'll see that. So kidney, right, highly involved in this long-term um, regulation, both in terms of initiating the stimulus here, one of the initiators, um, well, it is the initiator for this, this RAS pathway and also response in terms of water retention. Okay, let's do a learning check. Response of the macula densa cells to high blood pressure. What is the response? Intrinsic or intrinsic? And what is the response of granular cells to high blood pressure? Is this intrinsic or extrinsic regulation? I am not going to answer this for you, but I'm gonna put this lovely diagram here that is a little prettier than anything I drew for you to help you answer this.